Today, we're going to talk about something a little bit spicy. Uh, some people are really uncomfortable to talk about sex and things in the sex universe. I am not. And I'm going to use that to my advantage today. I'm going to explore with you three keys to increasing the pleasure of receiving during sex. What's the point of even having sex if you're not receiving? Now, that's kind of like maybe a touchy subject. Sometimes if you're in a committed relationship, sex can become about your partner fulfilling needs. It can turn into a whole different universe that kind of loses that sense of pleasure that sex really can be in your life. So here is three keys that you can add no matter what's going on in your sex life um, that are just going to increase that pleasure for you. All right. So key number one. Now, this seems kind of obvious, but relax. (laughs) And I'm especially talking to women probably on this particular first key. Uh, If you are like thinking about the laundry that you need to do or the dishes that you need to do or that work thing that's going on tomorrow, if you are kind of like, okay, let's get this done. Um, If you are multitasking and already thinking about the next thing that you need to do, you're not relaxing. Your mind is not relaxing. So you want to relax your mind, but you also want to relax your body. Okay. So what helps you relax? Maybe putting on music helps you relax. Maybe it is enough to kind of keep your brain a little occupied as you move into that relaxation space for you. Relax your body. Just really like relax. This is why when you kind of like have that like massage or gentle touch kind of foreplay, it's great because it can invite your body to relax. When you're in a relaxed state, you and your body can receive more. Just think about it. In any situation, if you are in adrenaline over overrun, or you are um, super scattered, if you're tight and constricted, how much are you receiving? Just outside of the sex universe. Not so much, right? But when you're really relaxed and present, that's when you can move into a totally different space of receiving. So what you, I mean, maybe we'll do another one of like different tips to kind of relax your body, but make your list, know your body, get to understand it. What is really relaxing for you that can get you into that space of receiving. So number one is I'm going to ask you to relax. Number two, and I already kind of, I just like, uh, teased it a little bit is actually getting present. Yeah. Some people do sex from their head or they do it from like this outside, like as if they were observing the bodies having sex, but they're not actually like present with their own body and present with the body that they are engaging with. So One uh, tool that I really like to use to get present in my body is to like, I kind of start up here and then I just allow my attention to go down my whole body and then I stop at my toes and sometimes like wiggle your toes a little bit. Take a deep breath, wiggle your toes a little bit. And you can do this like so subtle. Like whoever you're playing with might not even notice. You just like give your toes a little wiggle. It can be so quick. And the more you practice this, the faster it's going to be for you. So you've relaxed. Now you're getting present. You can even um, really like feel parts of your body. So in the head and in the hands is where a lot of people live, right? So where are parts of your body that you don't put your attention on? Put your attention there for a minute and pick about three points. So maybe like, Uh, your feet. So really like feel your feet on the bed, or maybe you're on the, uh, maybe you're standing, maybe you're about to walk into the bedroom. Maybe you're in the bathroom. Okay. So feel your feet on the floor. Uh, Maybe sit down somewhere and feel, feel your butt on that seat and put your hands on your stomach and feel your stomach. 
Put your attention on those three points at the same time and take a big, deep breath in. That's actually going to invite you to be a lot more present and engaged with your body, which will increase your pleasure a thousand times. When you're actually present with your body and with what's going on, your pleasure increases and your playmate's pleasure will increase because the more present you are with your body, you actually have a greater capacity to be present with their body. So we're relaxed and we're present. And now here's the last key that I'm going to give you today anyways, is to lower your barriers. Now, some people, you get me right away. You're like, oh yeah, those barriers. Okay, lower the barriers. But other people walk around with barriers all day long and you don't even know that you're doing it. Barriers are kind of like these energetic, you could call them almost like shields. And what happens is the more you have them up, the more usually contracted you are and the more you are limiting what can, what you can receive. So a barrier sometimes can show up just with like thoughts. Thoughts can be barriers. So if you start to head trip a lot, um, just ask to like, you could do it in a few ways, but you could like just dump your head. Like as if you could like, open up a little thing and just like dump it out, dump out all those thoughts, stop thinking. And if they come up again, just like lower them. Like, no, no thoughts right now. Turn up the music, turn up all the different kind of senses that will get you out of thinking. That can be a barrier. Feelings can be a barrier. So like, yeah, I'm going to have sex with you, but I'm still mad at you for what you did last week. I mean, I think we've all done that. Uh, That's a barrier. It's a comfortable distance you're creating between you and whoever you're playing with. When you can lower your barriers, not only does the intimacy grow, but the pleasure can grow with that person. It can get really like deliciously intense when you can lower those barriers and allow um, yourself to be out of control with your receiving. Because that's part of what the barriers are doing. They're controlling what you receive, when you receive it, how you receive it, who you receive it from. But when you're in a safe space, you're relaxed, you're with someone that you want to be with, hopefully. Otherwise, these keys probably won't work very well. You're present in your body and then you just lower those barriers and allow the receiving, allow your entire body to receive the pleasures allow your being to receive the gift of all of this and your pleasure will increase. I tell you, and I cannot, I would actually love to hear about it. You don't have to give me the details, but I wouldn't, I don't mind the details. Um, Let me know if this contributes to your sex life. I'd love to create more videos like this if there's an interest. Thank you so much for watching. Play with these three keys and um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe and do all the things, please. I really, really, really do appreciate it.